What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So something is spiraling out of control and I bet you don't know what is actually coming. Because today, the CPI rose by 7.5% year over year. Now even though that number alone is pretty scary, that is not what I want to discuss today. Today, I want to address the wage price spiral. Many people don't even know what this is. So first, let me explain what the wage price spiral actually is. Let me give you a little example. So the wage price spiral is when wages increase, which in turn creates more demand for products and services because people have more money. And when there's more demand for a product or a service, companies tend to increase their prices because of supply and demand. Now, when the price of goods increases or services increase in price, these will look too expensive for workers and workers will most likely lobby for higher wages. And then we start all over again. This is the wage price spiral. And this, as you can imagine, is scary. Once we get into this spiral, we there's a chance that we never stop. It just keeps on going and going and going. And this is not a good situation to be in. And I want to explain why. Now, this is what economists believe is going to happen in the future. Now, currently workers, we have the power to increase our wages as we're still seeing worker shortages all across the world, especially here in the United States. So, as more workers get hired, their wages will increase. The existing workers, their wages will increase as well. And as companies look to at least state level with their current profits, this is actually what's going to cause this wage price spiral because they will then increase their prices to keep their profits the same, if not push them a little bit higher. And that's, again, that's the scary thing. That's what's so scary right now because just in today's CPI data report, we saw that the hourly wage earners saw an 8.2% wage increase year over year. Currently, we have inflation set at 7.5%. That means that wages are growing year over year by 0.7%. Now, you're probably thinking, that's not that much. No, it's not that much, but when you factor in inflation and then you factor in your wage growth and you're sitting at 8.2%, just think, what if you got an 8.2% you know, wage increase when we were only ha having inflation at like two to 3%? That would be phenomenal. In many cases, most people would say that's excessive. And I know what you're probably thinking, a wage increase, that sounds good. We should all be getting paid more. And it's true. Workers should be getting paid more money. But the problem is that by getting paid more money without producing more goods or services, this ultimately leads to higher inflation. Think about this. Currently, companies say they don't expect their supply chain issues to be resolved in 2022. Some expect the supply chain to get much worse before it gets any better. Now, when workers are making more money, but the company is selling less goods and services, it means one of two things. The first thing, the company could let go of some of their workers, okay? Minimize their workforce, reduce staff. Now, this wouldn't be the, the greatest option, and at this point, it's not seen as the most likely scenario at the moment. Or the more likely option is companies raise their prices. And if every company out there decides to weigh, raise their prices just a little bit, then our purchasing power gets reduced as well. So do you see why this wage price spiral is such a big deal? It's huge. You may be seeing this already. And I, and I know for a fact, I've been seeing this. Just to give you an idea. When McDonald's started saying that they're going to be paying their workers, what, 15 bucks an hour, right? Well, okay, awesome. I'm happy for those people at McDonald's. But here's the issue. It also increased the prices of 
you know, the, the Big Mac and the McDouble and the McChicken and, and everything on their menu. It's more expensive now than it was prior to those people getting a raise. You go look at a place like Starbucks. I don't go to Starbucks, but I can tell you when, when the workers got an increase, when a wa they got a, a wage increase, guess what? It raised the prices of some of their goods, some of their products. And this isn't what we need to see. Now, I am all for seeing wages increase. Absolutely love it. But here's the problem. Wages increasing when the supply chain is going to persist, most likely into 2023 or 2024, this is the issue, is we may see higher inflation because wages are up. We may see higher inflation over the next year. There might not be much the Federal Reserve can actually do about this unless they raise rates by you know, 1% or higher. And this is gonna cause a lot of issues and here's why. What we are seeing right now and what we've seen over the past almost two years is when people have a lot of money or their, their investments are up, stocks are up, crypto's up, real estate prices, everything's up. Guess what? They tend to spend more money because they feel wealthier. But here's the problem. If the Federal Reserve decides to raise rates, guess what's gonna happen? Chances are stocks are gonna plummet, real estate is gonna fall, crypto is most likely gonna chase both of those down, and guess what? The American people who previously thought they were wealthy now have less money, they have less of a reserve, and so chances are they're not gonna go out and spend more money. Guess what this means? This means that even though wages increased and prices of products and goods and services increased, the American people could then be like, you know, I don't want to buy that stuff. It's too expensive. I just don't have the money that I used to have, so I'm not going to pay for those things. Well, guess what happens now? We see a wage increase. We see prices increase, but we see the sales go down. Guess what the last option is? To lay off workers. That's the last option. So do you see why this is such a big deal now? This doesn't stop at just, oh, okay, we saw a wage price spiral. Great, but what happens when we try to correct that? This is what could happen. Workers could lose jobs because the company is not as profitable as they used to be because of supply chain issues, because of the American people spending less money, not buying the products and goods and services that they used to pay for, and it creates a whole nother issue. So. That's what we know at this time. But again, like I said, this is gonna spiral out of control. And let me know, did you see this coming? Have you seen any reports on this? Because I guarantee you, most people are not talking about this because for one, the new report that came out today, it's still so new, most people haven't actually put the pieces together. But this is something that I've been watching for the past few months. And this is one of the scary things is as wages increase, Supply chains go down. We don't see it get resolved. It could create more and more issues. So that's what we know at this time. As always, as I know more, I promise I'll come back on, share all latest news and updates. Again, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.